welcome viewer and this is at history my name is daniel dongo from sos uh, technical training institute and i'm taking on uh, electrical installation uh, last lesson uh, we discussed about uh, the regulations and uh, the final uh, sub circuit but today we are going to see some of these final sub circuits that uh, are in a domestic installation uh, from our last uh, discussion, we found out that uh, it is according to the IE regulation that uh, all circuits uh, forming part of a domestic installation must start at the CCU and uh, must be protected. by a fuse or MCB. Now, uh, when, we, when we have this, uh, then uh, one might ask, uh, what determines the size of the fuse or the uh, MCB? Uh, the, what determines the size of the fuse on the uh, MCB is on uh, is on rating. Uh, in a uh, domestic installation, basically we have uh, uh, five uh, final sub circuits and uh, we can list them here. One, we have rating. Uh, two, we have power. Three, we have a water heater. Four, we have cooker. Five, uh, we have Communication circuit and six have motor circuits. Uh, this, is, this is the maximum number of uh, final sub circuit that can form a uh, domestic installation. But you understand, or we have, or what happens is that most of the uh, domestic installation you'll find them uh, using either, uh, most of them you'll find that lighting is a must, uh, power circuit. Uh, is a must. Uh, water heater uh, is not a priority. Uh, heater cooker circuit is not also a priority and you might find even communication is not a priority and uh, uh, motor circuit might not be a priority. So for small domestic uh, installation you'll find them just using lighting and uh, power circuit but there is no harm. But you find that the other domestic, the other domestic installation, whereby they are going to use all the uh, final sub circuit that are admissible uh, in a domestic installation, and uh, we can have six of them, and uh, we have them like that. Now, uh, what we are saying, or what, what the what we are trying to say here is that uh, uh, all the final sub circuits have different rating. And uh, for lighting circuit, uh, the maximum rating allowed is 5 amperes. Uh, 5 amperes. For power circuit, and uh, power circuit, uh, this is where we are going to connect your uh, uh, portable appliances. Uh, and they are connected by a plug uh, onto a socket. That is how you connect. Uh, something to a power circuit. Uh, it must have a plug and then you connect it via the socket outlet. So basically power circuit supply socket outlet and uh, the rating uh, is 15 amperes. It should not exceed 15 amperes. Uh, for water heater, for water heater, uh, again here for water heater is quite wide because uh, of late, there is the emergency that instead of uh, heating water 
uh, the convention of we whereby you place an immersion heater on the heat on the container and the water is heated uh, most of the people are preferring to use uh, shower unit or instant shower and uh, if the installation is to be designed for an for a shower unit system then this one should have a limit of 20 amperes but if you are to connect more than one shower unit then this one has to be changed has to be changed to something that accommodate that then for cooker circuit for cooker circuit we go to the maximum that is 32 uh, amperes but if uh, the domestic uh, or if the installation is too big and requires uh, something bigger then you can go up to 45 amps uh, depending on your choice then for communication circuits for communication circuit uh, this is where we could connect uh, electric bells electric bells and uh, uh, electric bells and uh, hooters and everything but uh, with the current uh, trade in technology this circuit seems as if it is fading away fast and uh, you can only find these uh, communication circuits in very old installation because uh, nowadays people are preferring other modern ways of communicating and uh, they are no longer using bells and even for those who are using bells uh, they are using uh, bells that are uh, battery powered Uh, they are using batteries, uh, they are using electric bells that are electric, uh, battery powered and uh, this uh, has resulted to, uh, we can say, an elimination of this communication circuit because it is no longer a preferred uh, way of communicating because of that. Then the other one, or the last circuit that could form a domestic installation is a motor circuit and uh, these motor circuits uh, could be to drive something like a water pump a mo pump or something like a shaft cutter for those uh, domestic uh, that are uh, doing farming or domestic maybe in the rural area where they have uh, motors to drive something like a shaft cutter or even bigger water pumps uh, that would uh, form the last uh, the, the last final sub circuit that is admissible uh, in an in a domestic uh, installation so uh, when you look at uh, the uh, these circuits there is the maximum current that it is, that they are allowed to to draw from the supply for electric bells so though we are saying that they are no longer fashionable uh, the maximum current was also 5 amps uh, the circuit were rated at 5 amps but for motor circuits, for motor circuits, again, this one is, uh, this one is also uh, not very, uh, is, not, is not very clear because it depends on the motor. Because if you are powering a very small motor that is probably uh, pumping water, a small water pump, you will go for 5 amps. But if uh, you are a big uh, domestic installation in a rural farm where maybe you need to use a shaft cutter you probably would go for something like 32 amps uh, to protect uh, an installation or a circuit that is driving a big uh, single phase motor and that's what uh, would be uh, appropriate so that's what uh, we have uh, for this uh, circuit rating now uh, the circuit rating here one thing that will, be, will affect they are going to affect uh, the cable size because uh, a circuit that is protected by a circuit breaker that is 32 amperes cannot be the same size as a lighting circuit that is normally uh, operated or that is normally protected by 5 amperes because uh, it will not be proper so cable size uh, comes into play and we have different cable sizes for these uh, final
market for lighting purpose for lighting purpose uh, we use a cable that is we use a cable that is uh, between 1.0 to 1.5 yeah, millimeter squared. That is what we use uh, for domestic lighting circuit protected by 5 amperes. For power circuits, 2.5 millimeter squared. For water heater, for water heater, uh, here again is uh, it varies because if you are using the old system of uh, 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 Heating water, probably we need a cable that is 1.5 millimeter squared. But if you have you are using shower, instant shower units, then you need a cable that is 4.0 millimeter squared. Uh, this is because uh, for a water heating system, uh, especially the one that is using a big tank and uh, water is heated and stored. For such a scenario, uh, you need a small cable size because the heaters are normally rated at 3 kilowatt. They are heated, uh, they are rated at 3 kilowatt or less. But if you are using uh, an instant shower unit uh, whereby you need to use a lot of energy uh, for a very short time, then you need a cable size that is big that I can accommodate that. So that's the reason why there is that variance. For cooker circuit, the recommended cable size should be 6. It should be 6. Should be six. Uh, this is because uh, cookers are the biggest consumers because they use a lot of energy uh, for cooking and they need a cable size that is uh, appropriate for that but uh, it also depends uh, with the cooker units that you're using uh, if you have a small kitchen uh, probably you are using one cooker and it is not highly rated then you'll go for 4.0 millimeter squared but if you are using a big kitchen where maybe you can feed one or two cookers you, use, you need something bigger uh, for communication, uh, we used to use 1.5 uh, watt for communication, but we are saying that this is a circuit that uh, has little relevance today because it has been take overtaken by event. Now, for motor circuits, for motor circuits, uh, where we said that you can have uh, anything from five amps to 32 amps 32 amps uh, here uh, we are saying that um, uh, it depends if you are using uh, 5 amperes then the cable should be low and I will be assuming that you are using only a very small equipment uh, to supply uh, you are using a very uh, a, a small heated uh, equipment to be supplied from that circuit. But if you are using a big motor, then you need uh, a big cable plus uh, a big protection gear uh, for it. Uh, most of the domestic motor circuits are using induction motors. And uh, what has been observed is that with induction motors, uh, the amount of current uh, that is drawn when the motor is starting uh, is quite high. And uh, your cable size must be able to accommodate for both uh, the starting current and uh, any other current, like if you want to accelerate the motor. So that one again, uh, you have to check on the uh, manufacturer specification uh, so that uh, if you are installing a big motor, then probably you need to uh, get the appropriate cable that can allow you can allow the motor to start uh, to start uh, with maximum uh, starting current 
and uh, it can also be able to allow the motor to operate at full load because uh, what you understand with motors motors are quite uh, are, are quite uh, funny in that uh, when they are loaded when they are loaded uh, they draw more higher current and when also the current when the voltage goes down uh, they also draw higher current so uh, we must or you must take into consideration that uh, the maximum or the full load full load current full load current of the motor is what uh, should govern your choice of the correct cable size uh, depending on the rating of the motor that uh, you want to to drive and uh, this is what uh, should of course uh, be understood and uh, this one also explains why we have different cable sizes uh, for different final sub circuits because uh, we want uh, every final sub circuit uh, to one uh, deliver the power that it needs to deliver plus uh, it should also be very safe uh, the other aspect uh, that uh, also governs this is the cost because uh, if you have uh, to do lighting then you need to choose uh, the most uh, effective cable for that and uh, that's what uh, needs to be understood so uh, to give a summary we are saying that uh, in a domestic installation we have a maximum of six final sub circuits and they have been listed here we have lighting power water heater uh, cooker circuit communication and motor circuit and uh, we have also given uh, the tentative uh, protection plus also the uh, approximate cable size that should be observed uh, so that uh, we do an installation that is uh, very safe and uh, with that uh, we come to uh, the end uh, I was your presenter Daniel Dongo and continue watching <laughs>